Hello, in this next few videos we will be tackling animatronics. In the background I am just gonna be placing some lights and give textures to the map while I explain. First, we will set up a base animatronic that we will use for future animatronics like Foxy, the puppet, and other unique animatronic types. The code used in this will be changed over time but this should be a good starting point to create more animatronics other than the originals. Here is an overview of the final product of this animatronic mini-series. First, these animatronics have their own start time and also start nights but for testing purposes, I put them at 1 am and night 1. Bonnie and Chica have an array of targets to teleport to, leading all the way to the door. Foxy will have the curtain as stages, whenever you look away from it, it will update and then the animatronic will run at you, which can see from this window. Bonnie here jump scares me. It will be pause the game. I want to work on jump scares another time. Anyway, on to the code. First, we have to make a blueprint character which will be the master animatronic. This blueprint will hold the data of an animatronic, their model, start time, difficulty, events and much more. Our first few variables which are integers will be start night, start time, and difficulty. These variables won't really be used too much for now. I want to just use them as a test. Also make sure that I for difficulty is ticked, it means exposed so we can change the value in the world viewport. Next we create a jump scare event which will be used properly in the jump scare video. Now to deal with the main setup, we can do a cast to your game instance, the object being get game instance from the as fnaf return value, do a get current night. We want to compare this to the start night to deal with which nights the animatronics are active. Use a greater than and equals to symbol then do a branch. For true, we can just do a print string for now. For false, this is optional but we can destroy the animatronic actor from the game, otherwise, you can just leave the animatronic alone in the background. Also, don't forget to go to the viewport and set it up with a mesh and a material. If you have your own animatronics, go import them. I don't want to bother with the models right now. I have played around with the transform settings and this fits for me. We then go to the capsule component and change the radius and height depending on the animatronic. Make sure when you do that, you also adjust the height of the mesh to be at the bottom of the capsule. We now need to make a function which will deal with setting animatronic model and materials, it will be called setup model. Drag out mesh and do a set skeletal mesh. Now I only have one mesh, but if you have multiple meshes, then this data table method will be really helpful. I also added a set actor scale 3D to update the mesh size. Now in the content browser, we need to create the data table. We need to make a blueprint structure in the strut folder, and name it S underscore animatronic data. In here, you will need to create a variable called name which can be a type string, name, or text. The next variable is an integer called base start time, these are their start values which can be manipulated with a difficulty level in a later video. Next, we need a variable called base start night as well. After, we can also add in variables like model of the animatronic which is a type skeletal mesh. We will now need to create materials variable of type material interface. Click on this circle and change it to the grid pattern which is an array. We have now set up a structure, we can now make a table to list the animatronics. Go to the folders, create a folder for data tables, and then you can right click in miscellaneous, there is a button for data table. Select, the structure you created and then name the data table. If you open it up, it should look like this. The top part is where we add our list of data like the animatronics, at the bottom half is where our structure will show and we can write our data in it. At the very top, we have our save table button and we can also add or remove rows up here. So first press the add button. You will need add a row name by double clicking the first tab and writing it in. Next to fill in the rest of the data, you can look at the bottom half to see your structure and then add in the name, time, model, and materials. I only have one model for now, so I will just use this tutorial TPP. Then add the array of materials, for me, I just need one for now. Then you want to add another row to create another animatronic and you do the same thing, just remember to give them a row name as some can forget to add one. 
create your animatronics, I will skip showing these parts, if you need help, join the Discord server or comment below. Now save and go to your master animatronic class, in here, you need to create a variable called animatronic data. The type is data row handle which is the type where we can select the specific row of a table. Compile and save. Now we can go to our set model function and get our animatronic data and we need to split it first. Get the data table row, you will need to connect row name to it as well. Connect the rest of the node to row found and then to actually get the data, you need to drag off out row and select break s animatronic data. We can now set model to the set skeletal mesh. For materials, do a for each loop. We want to loop through the materials and then set it to the mesh material. Array element is material and array index is the elemental index. Also connect set actor scale 3D to the completed arrow. Now there are many ways to do this, you can just change it here if you want or add it to the structure. Change it from an array to a single type and make it a vector type. Name is scale. To make it easier for now, just put 1 to the x, y and z to make it the default value. Now back to the blueprints and you can just connect the scale to the acto scale. On the construction script, you can call the setup model function so the blueprint updates every time we compile. Now in the map, we can start placing these animatronics down. In the details panel we can now set its animatronic data, and as you can see it updates it immediately. Now do the same to Bonnie, Chica, and the other animatronics. For Foxy, I built him a little stage. Now you can update their scale if you want. That is their setup completed. That will be all for this part. The next part should be up in a tiny bit where we deal with the animatronic AI. Consider subscribing and joining the Discord. See you next time.